All right, in this video, I wanna talk through the modules section of this. You're familiar with this now that you've gone through some of the courses, uh, some of the materials in this course, uh, I should say, and um, starting to get a sense for how it could potentially be used in your class, but I wanna show you how I built this out. When you click on the modules on the left side here, it'll be blank, there won't be anything in there. There might be a few template labels there for you as we, as we begin to build this out, but I'm making this video before making those templates, so I'm not exactly sure how built out this is gonna be, but there'll be some level uh, of organization that we're gonna wanna have you uh, stick to, just keeping the end users in mind, which again are the students, to make sure that in this beginning process we can make sure the layout isn't confusing across different classes so that there's like sort of one shared experience by uh, the students. So as you can see here, I've organized these by different sections and I can just minimize these as you've probably seen. And I can also publish and unpublish these. So if I wanted to build this out for the entire year, um, or if I want to just click on these to publish them or I want to publish the whole thing, uh, whatever, you, whatever it is, you can just click on that and now the students will see these. If I don't want the students to see them, I'll just unpublish them. But you can see that I have a text header here, then I have some assignments, and then I have like a quiz. So the way you add those is, well, first of all, if you're going to add a module, you hit add module up here, give it a name. Um, if you want this to be like, you can't see that, if you want prerequisites to get to that module, you can add a prerequisite here um, and select which of those modules that they need to complete before seeing the one that you want them to. So if you're really building out some personalization into your course, then that's a way in which you can do it. The other way that you can then add to a particular module, so I have this getting started one, and I've added these labels here, explore, reflect, to sort of group different assignments that I'm gonna create. And so I can say add, and I'm gonna either add an assignment, quiz, file, whatever it may be, I can add that right into here and they'll have different labels or little pictures. Um, and that text header is what I did there to create the explore, all right? But as I add assignments, you can see that I can create a new assignment, but I've also told you that you can create things by going to your calendar. So if you've gone to your calendar already and, and a great place to add your assignments, um, you can just go into here and let's say you went through a whole unit on your calendar. Uh, you added those homework assignments. What I'm gonna do is just click on these and I'll hold down shift and then I'll use the down arrow to select all of those that I want to be in this particular module. So you don't have to go in and recreate or move around one at a time, um, but it makes it really easy for you to organize things you've already created. Same goes for if you've created a quiz. So I've uh, made a quiz for all of you and I can just click that quiz and add it in here. Um, but if you wanna start from scratch, you can do that as well. So if you prefer to organize your courses in the modules, you create an assignment here, it'll automatically be in that. Um, and you can see that when I go to create this new assignment, test assignment, we'll call it, it adds it to here at the bottom and reflect. I can move it back up into the explore. I can click these three dots over here to increase the edit so, or increase the indent so that it matches up with my other things here so I can stay nice and organized. And then I didn't really add anything to that assignment other than the name of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit that um, assignment by clicking into it and then editing it. Okay, and you can see this is the exact same window that popped up when you tried to create these um, in the calendar. So the modules section is going to be something that we're gonna use to make sure that our resources that we share with students are done so in an organized fashion and allow people to work through the course and monitor their progress throughout the course um, really well. So we'll talk more with department chairs uh, and all of you collaborate on what the best uh, sort of layout's gonna be, but this is essentially how you create and work through building out your modules. All right, so I look forward to helping you out with this further. Again, this course is just to get the basics, just to get yourself acquainted with the different features here in Canvas um, and, and take it to the next level as you begin to explore more. And I encourage you to go to the comments or go to the discussions to share what you're learning and questions you have. So let's collaborate. I really wanna make this a team effort as we learn these tools within Canvas.